Good boy. As Aristotle continues to heal, applications for adoption pour in from around the country. But Best Friends needs to find just the right home. A family who can keep up with Aristotle's emerging exuberance and accept his unusual appearance. He was a little hard to look at. And we knew that we needed to find someone that um, was willing to look past all that to adopt him. Dr. Mike also has a wish list for Aristotle's prospective parents. Aristotle still doesn't have a lot of fur, and so he's going to be prone to getting sunburned. So an ideal home for Aristotle would be one like in the Pacific Northwest where there's not a lot of sun and where his family can be attentive to his special needs and are willing to deal with the complications from those things and a home that uh, is prepared for a dog that has a lot of energy, is very energetic. With about 15 promising candidates to choose from, Dogtown picks the ideal family for Aristotle. <laughs> Come on. Everybody sit. Phil and Susie Alger live in Southwest Oregon with more than a few dogs. Thanks, guys. So let's see, we have Molly, Maggie, Jolene, Peter, Jack, Milo, Ben, and Ari. And I think I did that in the order that they've come. Come on, everybody. Most of the Algiers dogs arrived with medical or behavioral issues. Aristotle seemed like a natural fit. Come on, come on. There we go, good job. This is normally how I uh, watch TV. Come on, go for it. Come on, go for it. There you go. Phil recalls the first photo of Aristotle he saw from the Guardian Angel website. Oh my God, he looked, he looked like uh, a kid that was learning how to ride a skateboard, just covered with scabs and no fur, scary looking. And I thought, okay, nobody else wants him. We'll take him. It was that easy. That's really all it takes for us. Just as Dr. Mike predicted, the cool Oregon climate has proven beneficial to Aristotle. With the climate change, I really think it is helping him because he doesn't seem to be scratching as much. Sit. Oh, you have such good attention. His skin's improved dramatically, and he's grown back most of his hair. But Aristotle still needs special treatment. Come here, buddy. It'll be quick, OK? It'll be real quick. Come on, real quick. Along with daily anti-parasite medication, and regular antibacterial baths, Aristotle needs saline eye drops throughout the day. Sometimes he might get it 10 times a day, some, you know, even more. Because his eyelids are turned up, it just doesn't lubricate there well enough or flush out the eyes. They get dried out because they never completely close. Come on, Pete. Susie and Phil go out of their way to make all their dogs comfortable. Their backyard was landscaped with the dogs in mind from plants they can't harm to a saltwater pool at their disposal. We call it the dog pond because the dogs actually use it a lot more than we do. There you go, buddy. When it's time to take the dogs out, the Algiers tend to go to extremes. OK, come on, guys. Let's go hop in the rig. And that's just okay. what an active dog like Aristotle needs. Today's adventure at the Oregon Dunes National Recreation Area requires some special gear. Aristotle sports a sweater for wind protection and warmth. You're gonna have to have these. For extra safety, Phil's got something that may or may not work. The goggles will keep sun, sand, and wind from Aristotle's sensitive eyes. Is that better now? That's on a little better. Let me tighten this up a smidge. You go. No, this Let's see. Check it out. Let me see. You. Let me see. Dude, you are styling. I don't think he realizes we're taking him out to like the world's biggest sandbox. When we go somewhere, we go as a family. The pets have always been a part of the family, so the pets go. Sometimes there's more dogs than people, but... <laughs> You're a good boy for keeping your goggles on the whole time. Just keep them on a little longer, okay? 
Thank you. He's gone through quite a bit, and as soon as Ari came to the house, he became all, it became the whole group. He's really blended in. He's just a special little guy. Plus, he's the only one that wears cool clothes all the time. <laughs> Thanks to Dogtown, the fragile little dog who was once too painful to look at, now has all the friends and family he'll ever need.